You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. I have a, uh, I guess he's becoming a frequent flyer here on uh, Greater Brockton, <laughs> Tony Branch. Good to see you, Tony. Good to see you. Happy New Year's. You too. Um, it's January, yes. so it must be the annual NAACP Martin Luther King Day breakfast. It most certainly is. It's, it'll be happening on January 14th this year. Uh, which is a Saturday at uh, 9 a.m. at the Massasoit Conference Center, 757 Crescent Street. And we have a dynamic speaker this year. Well, we, we, we've had him in the past years, right. uh, but it's going to be Ayanna Presley, Boston City Councilor, citywide. She's the highest person that's gotten, uh, that has received votes in the city of Boston. So we're, we're anxious to hear her dynamic uh, speaking style. I definitely agree with you because I've seen her on television yeah, from afar. Yeah, You've yeah. probably seen her a little bit more up close and personal. Yeah, and it's, yeah. you know, if, if you look at Boston being the largest city in right. Massachusetts and Brockton being up there in the top 10, there's similarities between the two cities and everything like that. City councilors, someone involved right. in politics and in the community. Um, any idea, uh, looking forward to that date, what she might be talking about? I, well, she hasn't told us. I haven't heard. Um, I can say that what is important, and I think that people get a little disconnected, that what's important about the MLK breakfast is it brings us all together, not only to talk about the work that Dr. King has done, but also to talk about how we bind ourselves together as a rainbow in the city of Brockton. So we're excited about it, and, and I kind of don't want to know what she's going to talk about because that, that no. leads up to a, a great, great speech. And we we don't want people not to go, even <laughs> though we're right, going to be right, there with a the right. camera. We want them to go. It's one of the primary fundraisers Correct. for the NAACP it is. Brock and Branch. It is. And it's it's over at Massasoit, which is, I think, a great place to do it because the college right. doesn't do Martin Luther King Day ceremony anymore. They do it during Black History Month in February. I just found out um, that it's going to be Gene McCormick. Oh, the really? speaker over there in February. Okay. But that's a busy weekend. That's a very interesting weekend here right. in the city. It gets kicked off with the breakfast always. That's true. Then uh, used to be back in the day, Temple, Beth Amuna, and Messiah yeah, they jointly did it together. Right. They're right. still working together. Right. There still is a right. Temple, Israel, a Temple, Beth Amuna, even though it isn't bricks and mortar anymore. Right. Okay, so they're collaborating on, on the Sunday. Correct. They're doing an event. And on Monday, the Cape Verdean Association is doing an event as well. So it's Martin Luther King weekend. It most certainly is. Okay. But um, tell us a little bit more about this event. I know there's talk, of, I, I know there's membership talk at the event. Right. I know there usually are wonderful singers, sometimes young people and choirs and stuff. What else do you know that I don't know? So what I can tell you that is, is, is it is what, exactly what you're saying. And I think that uh, a part of the fundraising is also to speak about the accomplish, accomplish, accomplishments excuse me, uh, of the NAACP in the past year. And that's going to, of course, deal with prostate cancer, talk a little bit about the this, this school hiring, and really the focus on uh, youth leadership in the city of Brockton. Uh, one of the things that we're trying to do is to increase the membership of the AXO program. Uh, a lot of people don't know about that program, but that allows young people, students, uh, to come be a part of uh, a science participation, and they receive grants and stuff. So it's very important that young people come out. Um, just to speak a little bit about, we've changed the venue this year. Yeah. Um, so we've gone, we were going to go to the Shaw Center, but we have chosen Massasoit this year. And one of the things that, as a result of that change, there is a little bit of bump of, uh, in pricing, bump in terms of the fundraising that we're doing. So we're asking for a donation of $40 per ticket. And we think that that will be successful, something that the NAACP has not done in recent years. So so it's economical. Well, nothing against Shaw Center, but the food's better at Massasoit. I'll, in full disclosure, I teach there and have been there for 23 years. Right, they right. do a great job, and it's a good tie-in. It really is. It is. The Massasoit. Yeah. It's you're talking about youth, so the young people that go to Massasoit, Absolutely. and there are people of all ages that go to Massasoit, young at heart. Right. So. Um, are you involved in the program? Are you well, I'm, I, I, they've asked me to MC for the uh, third time, okay. and I will be MCing, and I also will be swearing in uh, the new officers. As many people may not be aware of, uh, President uh, William Brewer, the first vice president, is now the president-elect of the NAACP. So we look forward to that. Um, some of the programs that he's going to be bringing forth, which is very important, is that his philosophy is really to bring the NAACP to the community. And what people have uh, maybe don't know is the NAACP for Brockton is actually a, a region. Right. Uh, so we encompass Randolph, Stoughton. We encompass the communities that are surrounding. We are going to be bringing the NAACP as a mobile unit uh, to those particular communities. So I see some great excitement. So we're looking for membership. We're looking for folks to join and for them to participate in our general meeting on every fourth Monday. And there are some new members of your board as well recently that yes. have just... Yes. One, I... I 
I have. Um, I know you don't have that list. I yeah, know you I didn't have bring another the list, list for the other. Group I didn't topic bring the list, but I want to give uh, a shout out to someone that I sponsored, Ray Henningsen. Uh, great man, great man. So we're really excited to have him. But yeah, we have a robust uh, executive board coming in, and we're just really excited about some good work that's going to be happening. Now, when you're talking about mobile, one of the things you also did is the TV show's back. It's been back for a in year. You've forum. been hosting yep. it. Yep. Um, we There's a, a whole longer piece on this promoting The right. Breakfast and right. AXO and everything like that. But that's important and something that I'll let you know in case you don't or Mr. Brewer doesn't know. The show that you do, as long as there are members of the NAACP in the other communities that are part of the region, that show can appear, let's say, on Randolph wow, Cable. Oh, I didn't or know Whitman that. Cable or whatever's part of the region. Right, right. So let me know and we'll help hook you guys up with a, a list so we can get the show out to more than just Brock. We appreciate BCA. Thank you for letting me know that. I didn't know okay. that. That's good, good and information. And the way the show gets done is there's a, a trained group of uh, members that came down to take our training, mm -hmm. and they put together the show. You host it as a volunteer. A lot of people see people on cable TV, and they think everybody's on the payroll over here. <laughs> we couldn't do we are this not. place. We couldn't do this place. We're not. Right, Brockton right. Community That's Access right. That's without right. committed volunteers like yourself. Right. And, um, you know, that's been a, uh, in, in the making. That show was, it's one of the oldest shows that's been done over here, okay? It was done before I came here, and I've been here 23 years. Wow, so wow, it's, it's, right, it's going right. on, it's probably 25, maybe almost close to 30. We have a, a lot of shows and a lot of diversity on, on the channel, and uh, we're glad you guys are back. So what do you want to do to sell it and get people to come to this event, support the NAACP, maybe even join at the breakfast Absolutely. as well. So I think what is important is for people to understand the mission of the NAACP. Uh, and so often when you try to explain it, you know, people use uh, very high uh, sort of vernacular. I'm going to be really pointed about it. The NAACP is a civil rights organization, volunteer organization that supports equality for every member of the community. Often you hear people say, well, no, it's it is not every member of the community. So we're looking for the community to come out to support the breakfast, become a member, it's $35 a year, uh, a nominal uh, donation for that, and really to support equal rights. Everybody supports that at the end of the day, whether you're Republican or a Democrat, conservative or liberal. People want what's right for the community, and that's what we're all about. And if you go back and look at the history of this chapter specifically, that's, that's right. it was founded. One of the people that founded yes. it was retired Judge Bernard Cohen. That's correct. And he was Jewish. That's okay? correct. And there's a lot that has happened between Jewish community, African American community, but all communities. Correct. I often say it's still NAACP. Right. <laughs> I've also said that maybe it should be NAAA. Right. Because right. National Association of the Advancement of all people. All people. Okay. That's Maybe right. they'll think about that at some they point. Will. I don't know. Hopefully. But it's a great organization and the fact that youth are getting involved, you were talking about AXO in specific. Mm. Some of those kids and some were from Southeastern and we're not that's biased right. about Southeastern no, or anything. Yeah. But they got <laughs> bronze medals, silver medals, Correct. gold medals. Right. There's a national convention every year, there's regional stuff that goes on. Correct. So if you want to get involved, it's a great place to be. It most certainly is, and we look forward. For, we look forward to people getting involved. We ask parents to uh, really to look at the AXO program and to uh, push their students, to push their children, uh, in order to push their, their children so that they'll be able to come out and join. Well, support sure. them. Support them. I'm sure you'll tell us more on the forum. Yeah, exactly. I'm just going to recap the date. It is Saturday, January 14th. Nine o'clock. Correct. Massasoit Conference Center over on Crescent Street, right near the college, next to where the old Christos used to be. Used to be Christos too, for folks like me that know it back right. in the day. And it's a forty-dollar admission. Um, is there any uh, are tickets available at the door? Do you have to get it. At you can get them at the door. Um, I have some that are left. If people are interested, and you can email me at uh, bishopbranch at icloud.com, bishopbranch at icloud.com. Leave me your, your phone number and tell me that you're looking for tickets and I will gladly bring them to you. That's all important. We want this event to be uh, packed because again, it's an opportunity for us really, really to promote the rainbow of the city of Brockton. Perfect, thank you. Thank Thanks you for, for having me okay. and happy new year. You too. BCA does great work, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people and faces right here in the city of champions.